Hello everybody and thanks for joining us for another Whitfield's Food Review. Today we are back at McDonald's by popular demand. You all demanded it. You're like, you better get back to McDonald's and try that $2 value menu. And that's where we're at today. And if you saw our first one, the dollar one was maybe a little underwhelming. Two dollar one looks better. And I get to have a McGriddle, but I get to have a McGriddle for the first time in my life. It's a sausage McGriddle, a bacon McDouble, two buttermilk tenders, and a small McCafe drink. And these are all two dollar a piece. So it was eight fifty something. I don't know. Let's dive in. Let's start with the new. So all right. A little tough gets through the McGrill part. Is it? Mm hmm. This is fresh off the prices. I really dig their sausage and I really like the combination. I'm one of those people who really like savory, little spice with sweet. Actual McGrill itself is a little tough. I love the combination of that sausage with the sweet. Ooh. I like McGriddles. Uh, yeah, it's like hard over there. I don't know why. It's not normally that tough. No. This is soft like pillows. The sausage is good. They said they just made it. Like little baby pillows. Buttermilk chicken tender. Ranch dip and sauce. Mmm. I don't know what to say. So I'm dipping this buttermilk. I was going to say biscuit. Buttermilk tender. Mmm. That's good. Yeah, I made it good. Mmm. I know when we did the review, we loved them. And then I didn't love them so much when we waited in line for seven hours for Rick and Morty. Szechuan sauce and got denied. A dollar piece, that's kind of the going rate for tenders now. I think this is definitely well worth it. This is the McBacon, hmm, or <laughs> McDouble Bacon. Other than the McJordan burger from years ago, I don't think I've ever had bacon on a burger at McDonald's. So this is historic. Hmm, oh, I like that. Hmm, that's good. See, the issue for me with the cheeseburger itself, the bun to beef ratio was too far skewed towards the bun. Now with the double, obviously it's double the thickness. You get that cheese in there and you get all that meat, that nice salty goodness of that bacon. And then the pickle and the onions. See now this to me is leaps and bounds better than just the cheeseburger because the ratio, it's all about that math. So I've never had bacon on a burger there either. I didn't know they had that. It's very basic bacon. I mean, it's not Cherry wood smoked bacon over a slow fire for 12 hours. No, it's just- I always it's wonder just, why they didn't have bacon on their burgers. Why is there not a bacon Big Mac? Mm -hmm. It's crazy, this sounds stupid. They have bacon flavored bacon. It tastes like bacon. It's not fancy, it's not this, it tastes like bacon. Mm -hmm. It is a caramel macchiato. That means nothing to me. You like it's it? Good. It is good? Yeah, it is. I don't think you're gonna like it. No, probably not. I like my coffee like I like my metal. Mm. <laughs> That's so sweet. It's a little sweet. Woo! Even for me. It's sweet, but it, it does taste like a really strong Werther's Original. It kind of does. So yeah. if you like that, then it's all, I'll be all about this. Now this is tiny for $2, but I think for some people probably be just the, the right amount of size. Yeah. Because, right amount of size? <laughs> That's a, that, that can't be the right way to say that. And also, to be honest with you, not that if you're getting this, you're calorie counting, but this would be far less calories than, you know, a, a Starbucks 9,000 calorie venti, if that's a thing. Venti. That, that's a thing? Mm-hmm. I know my stuff. Is it better than the dollar menu? Yes, it's way better. My favorite was, I like the McDouble because I've never I know, that added something, really, ad really added something to it. So what, what's your overall score? 4.6 out of 5. Nice. Right off the bat, I, I can tell you it's definitely worth it. It's a much better value, in my opinion, than the dollar menu. Um, not, I mean, it's a dollar more, it's double the price, but I feel like you get more than double the food. Uh, the McGriddle, first time I ever had it, I enjoyed it. It was a little overcooked. The tenders alone everywhere are about a dollar a piece. So right there, it's worth it. On top of it, I happen to really like their buttermilk tenders, so I think that's really worth it. And then the McDouble was the, the, the star of the show for me, because A, it had bacon on it. I've never had a burger with bacon on it, except my favorite burger of all time from McDonald's, which is the McJordan burger and I recreated that. But if that had barbecue sauce on it, the McJordan sauce, this would taste just like it. I really enjoyed it. That coffee, not my thing, but I'm guessing a pretty good deal for $2. So all in all, the $2 menu is getting a 4.5 out of five. That's a big step up from that 2.5 the dollar menu got. 
This, I just think you get a lot more bang for your buck. I'd still like to see some fries on there though, but I'm really digging this $2 menu. See you. Oh. <laughs> I had a little episode there. So there you have it, folks. That's what we think. Let us know what you think. We gave it an overall 4.5, 4.6, so 4.55 if you combine them. That's a big step up from the 3 and 2.5 that we gave the dollar menu. I think this ups the ante. Obviously, for a dollar more, you think you're going to get more, but I was underwhelmed by the dollar, and this one I was really impressed with. I like it. I'd rather spend $4 and get two items on this than spend $4 and get four items, believe it or not. And yeah, there should be fries. I, I don't get that. There still should be a starchy side McDonald's. And Come I, on, man. I, this is what you do. And I don't understand why there's no dessert either. I mean, that's very sweet, but that's still like, that's coffee. Anyway, so that's what we think. Let us know what you think. We're going to try that $3 menu next, and we're going to see if they really up their game, because that's not that value. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's getting up there. That's kind of like, uh, yeah, that's not exactly cheap, but it's not expensive. So we'll see what they have in that $3 offering. But that's what we think. Let us know what you think. Let us know if you like this video. Let us know uh, what you would like us to do in recipes. Would you like us to see us copycat any of these? I don't know if I can do the McGriddle. I, I don't know how to make an M on my pancakes. So anyway, comment. Please hit that notification button. You got to hit that notification button. Otherwise, you're not going to know we put a video out because YouTube likes to hide us because apparently we are the pariah. Food reviewers are the pariah right now. I'm playing the victim card. So please... Hit that notification button. Comment below. Follow us on all these things. And like, share, favorite. Share with your whole family. Let them know about Whitfield's Food Review. And we greatly appreciate it. Um, and until next time. And as we, whoa, we're in the middle of the road. And as we drive home, I do want to uh, add this in there. I want to give a shout out to uh, the channel Critical Eats Japan. Awesome channel. One of my absolute favorite channels. I watch them all the time. Um, he has some of the craziest, cool snacks from Japan that you've ever seen. And not just snacks, but fast food items I've never seen. I'm so jealous. I want all of his meals. Sounded oddly sexual the way I said that. Put a link to his channel down below. <laughs> I'm pouring out my garage. Below in the description. And go check that out, guys. So, anyway, I just wanted to add that in there. And, uh, now it's just awkward silence.